Well, all right. Greetings and salutations. Welcome to my amazing show. Once again, I'm your host, the great and mighty Mr. Perez, and today I'll be playing... I'll be going through ep chapter two of Tell Me Why. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, there lived a pair of crafty goblins. A pair, huh? The crafty goblins did everything together. Until one day, when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. Blamed for the darkness, Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest, while his sister had to stay behind. Ten years later, they were finally reunited, and together, they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. Yeah, I always confront things head on, just the way I like it. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. This is how the goblins found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. to the last chapter, wasn't it? Tomorrow we should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who wants ice cream? Me! Ice cream? Eat up. It was that mint chocolate? Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone. And with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world. Where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman. Alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure. And her title. I don't like that story. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't read it again. I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you, Mom. I love you, too. Sleep well and dream, my doves. Yes, make sure to actually go to sleep. Alright? What's she gonna cook? What a waste. Not the ice cream. 
You know, I don't think she's gonna be okay. Just a hunch. Ah, okay. Man, I really need to stop touching my mic when I'm trying to record stuff. That's probably why. But yeah, alright, this is chapter 2. Family Secrets. This one dusty pillow. The place could definitely use a nice vacuum. Closing a chapter of our lives, you know? Yeah, it seems like they opened we something up again. Spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. Okay. No. It was kind of meta considering You're this game only has three episodes. Again. Come on. Up. Mind numbing labor is a great way to forget your troubles. Uh. Can't we just have coffee instead? No. On your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. 
Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do this. Wow, two gallons. Fancy dude. Goblin <laughs> fist keep. Dollar sign is donate or sell. Yeah, I know, right, Black So? as well. Trash. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff from the bathroom this morning, but I left you the toilet. How very generous of you. Hmm. Crummy table and wobbly chairs. Mm, should I keep that or trash this? It looks alright. Let's keep it. A nice tablecloth could hide the stains. A tablecloth? Ooh, fancy lady. Yeah, cookies and cream must not exist. I know, right? Oh. Oh, God. That's... What's that smell? All right, let's see. You hungry? We have a whole lot of nothing. Ah, uh, I was hoping maybe you could make uh, me one just of those a little bit of I think that's ketchup. ketchup sandwiches. But yeah, what about ketchup? <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. We are all out of pickles today. Could I interest you in a ketchup-only sandwich? <laughs> Looks like there's still a bottle back here. Uh, ew. Says the guy who used to eat oh. peanut butter with ranch. A flashback. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, what's that smell? Smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or could it be Stinky Pants Sam? <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants <laughs> Sam! Stinky. <laughs> Come on now. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Be nice. <gasps> a skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Seems like that nudge uh, spooked Sam the skunk Kansky, a bit. Hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him. And it made me want to be a wild animal superhero too. Hmm. A recipe? Okay. Ancient appliances, you are staying here. Although, that oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. We are not moving the oven. Hmm. Rug. Ugh, gross stain is gross. Uh, what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan. What's this doing down here? Is that gum? Yeah, just yoink oh, it out. I guess that was probably me. Dobbins was here. Sweet, collectible. Lasagna! Lasagna! Finish your salad first. Yeah, no glove or nothing. Thank you, Tessa. Didn't even loosen the saver. loosen that gum up. Oh, just leftovers from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch too. Volcano. Oh, you're quite right, love. Uh, she can have my corn. <laughs> Here you go, little one. You must be hungry too. <laughs> then they kept Volcano. Tessa really did keep us all fed. What to do with this? Table, old table. Yeah. This will keep. Tables are expensive. And besides, this one's an Allison and Tyler original. It's the whole season free or just a couple of episodes? No, the whole season is currently free. Because uh, it is Pride Month. And that's nice. I guess uh, it's I mean, finally time I can't to disagree with free stuff. Down. Yeah. Still deciding what to do with them. Hmm. Those are good memories. I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but... No, I get it. But not really. I get it. It's just weird seeing myself like that again. Damn. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. Has therapy helped at all? Oh. Yeah, definitely. My therapist really heard me when I said I was a guy. 
and she helped me get ready for the reactions I'd get, you know? It's dealing with other people that's been way harder than figuring myself out. At the end of the day, being able to look in the mirror and see Tyler, that's made the biggest difference, which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Oh, he uses Just a so binder. You know, hmm. I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. I would have figured what he had to surgery. All right. What's your verdict, Ronan? Yeah, you what know do you what? Think? I'll keep a few. To remind us how far we've come. That's a good way of looking at it. Oh man, I love this one. <laughs> Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Come on, smile. Like I was there we go. memory come on honey smile like Allison now hold up your fish it's not my fish anymore Allison stole it <gasps> my sister the fish thief <laughs> you were just being bratty was I though yes all I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. Something else. Hey now, take your time. He's not gonna jump up and do the cha-cha. What about me? I wanna clean the fish too. It's not even your fish. You didn't catch anything. Ugh. Only because you wouldn't stop talking and scared all the fish away. Keep your eyes on what you're doing. Yeah, keep your eyes on the fish. Allison. How else are you gonna clean the fish? This half, you can take over and do the other boys. That sounds fair. Yes. Mm -mm. You're right. I was kind of being a brat. All right, let's see here. That's a nice face. I wonder if my horse figurine is still in there. All right, check. You're welcome to stick your hand in there to check. Oh. Hmm. Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <sighs> Oops, I forgot. Yeah, I was busy looking around our old house. All right, fine. All right, I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. Yeah, let's get this I'm out of here. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? I mean, just a little dusting. Uh, yeah. Is that okay? Sure. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. All right, I'll keep it. Do a moo can. Sweet. I really like that armchair. Ah, uh, yes, for your forest shack. It'll look sharp next to your tree stump nightstand. I'll be the most stylish mountain man ever. But I was actually thinking it should go in your library. Library? We may not even have a living room. <laughs> I have faith in you. Mm, nah, that's a little too worn down. Another one for the landfill. And finally. I hate to say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's oh, no, it for living sick You are relieved sick from your though. duties. Ah, oh, finally. Hey, Allison, come take a break with me. Yeah, in a bit. 
Let me just see. Everywhere I look, there's just stuff, stuff, and more stuff. Hello, ancient broken down machines. That will be the future owner's problem. Yeah, these will probably be trashed. Yep. Okay. Hmm. All right. We don't really want to keep anything in here, right? Hmm. Bunch of old bottles. Thanks for clearing out those cabinets. Not my pleasure. Oh yeah, that smell it. Oh, ew, ew, ew. Raven Sarah. Oh god. I can still taste it. Put it away. Ugh. Say ah. Uh. I remember cutting off shaving cream beards with these. Oh yeah. Let's see, let's head. Let's check the upstairs. And what do you know? More five little monkeys hmm. jumping Monkey. on the Monkey. Hey Tyler, how does five little monkeys go again? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell down and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor, the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Hey, did you finish packing upstairs? Nope. There's way too much junk to sort through. Baloney. <laughs> Guess yeah. who I found? Baloney. Alley belly baloney? Why, yes. I would love to have a tea party with you. I, I mean, you didn't really for the third time. find that bell. It was just sitting there. Like, chilling. But okay. We should gather up all our old toys and give them to charity. What's that? I said we should give our old toys to charity. Oh, good. What's soft? What light? There's a paper plane stuck in the ceiling light. Maybe it has a secret message from our past selves. Find something to knock it down. Hmm. I could use that ball. Okay. Let's see if I can still do this. Five bucks yeah, says you come miss. on. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, what does that oh, say? God. This is something real. What is it? Allison's a uh, big fat loser. You're no better at insults than you were at 11. <laughs> Why mess with perfection? Ha uh ha. -huh. Okay. <sighs> Will this ever stop feeling so weird? Hmm. Hmm. So long, trusty bunk beds. Yeah, you can sell that. A map. Yeah, you probably get a couple bucks out of that. Definitely could use a repaint. So, you gonna come back down to help me or what? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. Hey Tyler, how does five little monkeys go again? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell down and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor. The doctor said no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Oh wait a minute. Hey, clean freak. You want coffee? Hmm. Are you gonna keep doing that? Yeah. Yes, you are. <laughs> Having fun, are we? This is getting utterly ridiculous. Ground control to Major Allison.
All right, I guess. Yeah. That is <laughs> Mood changer. Need achievement. All right. I'm breaking. This dude needs his bean juice. Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Uh, why not coffee? Would you coffee? rather have instant coffee or instant coffee? Hmm, nah, sorry. I'm more of a tea person. Get it? Tea? As in... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Clever. How long have you been waiting to make that joke? Longer than I'm willing to admit. <laughs> <sighs> I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh, did you hear that? <gasps> the Ice King is sending us a warning. Something. But what? Oh, wait. Things above me tells me the direction in which the memory's at. Okay, let's see. For your punishment, said the Ice King, you shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! <laughs> Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh, yeah, he, you're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great idea, hmm. sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. I think my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many hours into that book. Yeah. Our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. Think they're all still in the kitchen drawer? We should go take a look. Hmm. Let's see. Not that drawer. Oh, okay. I, I guess it is that drawer. All right. Hey, Allison. What's Allison's first drafts? Right. Because I didn't contribute at all. Come on. I know you did. I can't believe she kept all these. <laughs> You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum, and she was all alone in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. She was. Alone, but with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Yeah, there's Research. more significance to these so stories than Marianne they realize. if was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, come on. Humor me. Let's see. Let's see. The bear was the most helpful one. He was always around. Stalking her? What? No. I mean, he was kind of always there, lurking. Hmm. Pelican. She was the most generous one. <laughs> yeah, but there was always a catch. Let me see. <sighs> Poor Moose. Really didn't do him justice. Hmm. Justice? Kind of ironic, huh? Considering he was the lawful good one? Too bad the law isn't really just. Hmm, let's see. Let's see, Tessa on the left. Eddie in the middle, Sam on the right. You done? Well, Sam's definitely the bear, so I'll keep that there. Swap you these two. Go here. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Yeah, this seems right. All right. I think I'm done. 
You sure? Definitely. How do you like them apples? You know, I think you might be onto something. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people, or this one. Hmm. Yep, totally Marianne. Why a princess though? Why not a queen? She hated authority. Yeah. Oh, she is a, a rebel. Ruler. Okay, I guess that makes sense. The specific human attributes you have assigned to these forest animals are truly thought-provoking. Indubitably. Yeah, I wonder what the owl represents. And then, the creature. You better hurry, or the Mad Hunter will catch us! We need to hide. This way. <gasps> what's... What's going on? I... I don't know. I, is he here? Is he really here? I, I don't know. I'm scared. Go away! Yeah! Go back to the forest! What a goofy little guy. I forgot about that. We'd been pretending he was there. And then suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? Allison. Wait. It felt way too real. It was us pushing our imagination way too far. Great. Hello? Sam Kansky, Grandmaster of Bad Timing. We're not done with this conversation. Morning, Sam. Well, hoy, goblins. I ran into Chief Brown, who said you were starting the cleanup on the house this morning, so, uh... I kind of figured you might need some supplies. That's... Thank you. That's that sweet of you. Thoughtful. So listen, I, uh, I wanted to apologize for scaring you yesterday. You didn't. Your shotgun did. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, I, uh, anyway, I also came by to say I fired up the Google and I, uh, I did You some used the Google? I didn't know the germs between all those words. I mean, I, you know, never been much of a reader, huh? But I think I get why what I said was wrong, and I'm real sorry. Oh, and before I forget, for the lady of the house. Oh. <gasps> A fish! It was your mom's favorite recipe. Still make it darn near every week. Think of her mm. every time. Uh, thanks. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, yeah. The fuse box is busted. <laughs> Yeah, that'll do Just it. another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh, I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20-some years. I'll give you a hand. All right. Box is in the barn. Follow me. We'll be right behind you. Apology was something. Come on, we need lights. So be nice to the helpful man. All right, where's the fuse box? So, um, how's school? I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies, huh? Well. It's a good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. So, what's wrong with the fuse box? What happened to the fuse box? Oh, I forgot to put it back together after I fixed one of the fuses that kept snapping. Turns out the circuit was a little worse for the wear. I started it back a on little, the spot. A little, huh? Just the way your mama would have wanted. Made her happy. Things could be fixed instead of thrown out. 
Anyways, let me find that darn key. You still have our keys? Wait, wait, Sam. You have more of our keys? Yeah. The one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special tip that you can... Fascinating. I'll take that off your hands now. Well, I, uh... Figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope. We're good. Thank you. Fair warning. Door's a bit temperamental. Haven't you been taking care of this place? You didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Here, son, give me a try. Good. And okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little. Oh. Damn it. No oh, shit. Well, I mean, it's open, so that's good. Sure, the handle could be fixed. Alright, let's see. Well, at least the door is open now. Yeah. Uh, well, that's easy enough to fix. Yeah, just now, like a little hot glue, box. maybe. Oh, no, no, no. You and you are going to clean up your mess. All right. Fuses go into plugs. Should Let's be see. easy enough. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dry water heater, kitchen, outlet, lights. Generator heater, garage. Look at what? The whole jam needs to be replaced. Hmm, I've wrapped up your electrical board. I gotta run, but in case you want it, check it out. Careful not to overload the circuits. Hmm, let's see. You need 15 amps for uses for the garage. So amps in total up to 120 amps for the whole house. Sam, P.S. Would have had myself. For once, I respected the right color coding. Each of you should have the right color cable. Thank you. Okay, let's see. What happened? You okay? Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, just a bum knee. I uh, wrecked it playing ball. Ball? Football? Six fuses. High school. Okay. Best damn fullback around. All right, now. Okay, so definitely the kitchen. So. Uh, let's see, 15, 120. So we have 105 left. Uh, maybe 30. Okay, let's see. Problem must be the latch. Okay, so that's 75 amps left. Okay, yeah, let's see. Salt and lime. It's a door latch, not a bottle of cheap tequila. Outlets. <laughs> mm. Let's do 50. Margarita? Really? Hey, sometimes old Sam likes to feel fancy. This one. Which twenty? That's uh, thirty, and then twenty. Hmm. Here, hold this. I want to get a look at the spindle. Shouldn't we get this cleaned up before we put it back together? I just want to check something. Hey, uh, you two got any uh, bear insurance? What for? You and your gun are always around. Oh, oh not always. And you can't fend off a bear with smart-ass remarks, you know? We're not getting a gun, Sam. Hmm. Well, actually... Let me do... Instead of just 30... Let me do... Let's try this one. 20... 20. Yeah, let's see. Everywhere. Well, don't stick your nose in there. All right. Okay, let's try. That's not right. You sure you don't need a hand? Hey, I'm moving at my own pace. I need to That's know the stuff. All right. Women, huh? Don't do that, Sam. Uh, did you read the note next to the box? Let me see. Yeah, that one stays 15. 
Probably could. Oh, wait. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Yeah, I see now. Okay. We're going to do 30. Probably so. You got a good head for this stuff. Yeah, well, you're not the only person who used to fix stuff around here. Yeah. Pretty much took an army to keep this place standing. Yeah, this is color coded. Okay. And then this one's 15. Let's try this out. Hmm. Seems good. There we go. You got this all in hand, so, um... Bye. Aww. What was that about? Preda rep. What's that? Wolf pee. Ew, what? Do not spill it on your shoes. I sense a story. I sense a story. Well, if by story you mean using it at fireweed to get rid of some rats, and then spilling it on my only pair of shoes, then yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was not funny. Sure thing, B-boy. Huh, look at this. I think tools. this is where she made all our toys. Toilet paper tubes, rope, cardboard. I wonder what she planned to make with that. She was so crafty. And she could draw and write and take pictures. She could have been an artist instead of just locking herself up out here. I wonder why Sam got so upset. Oh, he probably forgot he was all out of bourbon. Nah, something got to him, definitely. <sighs> well, something about it really got to him. I don't think any of us are exactly happy to see that gun rack. Uh, remind me to take it down later. Hey there, little buddy. Found Marianne's stash. Ooh. Blueberry. Blueberry. Homemade jam. Berry. Huh. Birch and fireweed? <laughs> Bet it tastes like restricted freedom and 9 p.m. Those have definitely gone bad. As far as I'm concerned, they always were. Does canned food really expire? I mean, it's airtight, right? Uh. Not gonna be the one to test that out. Oh man, I'm gonna put together the sweetest toolbox ever. What are we gonna do with this rack? Take it apart and sell the scrap. Sure, why not? Be my guest. But it sure looks like a pile of junk to me. Where you see junk, I see dollars. What's that? What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow! broken. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see mom. But she'll get mad. You weren't oh. even supposed to be here. Another memory. Hmm. Come on, it's gonna get infected. I, I don't want to. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Where are you going? Things 
were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Shh. Look. I had to make that call. A call? What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but... I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm gonna show you what I remember. Over here, Allison! Hey, what do you remember? I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh, yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Marianne. <sighs> I said get out! Out! What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Look. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please leave. Mary Ann. I'm sorry. Please just go. These are very different interpretations. How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago and, well, memory is a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. But Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? He must have had a reason. He must have had his reasons for not telling us. Look, I know he took care of you, but that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne, even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? Hmm. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Let's Get do out that here. one. Get off my property right now! So, we agree. Brown came out here and bullied Marianne the same day she attacked us. And then lied about it. Now what? We go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my Yeah, coaches. why not? But what will these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. Not literally, I hope. <laughs> I can't believe Brown lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. <sighs> it's Tina. I gotta take this. Yeah, j just a sec. I'm parking the car. Oh, okay. At least she's not parking it in the road. Let's Guess go. I'll just go stretch my legs then. No. Just give me a sec. Okay, Tina. What's going on? 
Hi, Han. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, that's uh, cool. When? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Han, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. Not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on. Kinda did. Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? Ah, uh, not yet. It's it's not the right time. A cash offer, Allison. I'm sorry, but it'll be a total mess. I don't want to waste anyone's time. Okay. Well, you tell me when you're ready. Huh. Well. I think I just made Tina's shit list. Hmm. Hmm. Bears? Yeah, not the bears. Dee and I did that trail a couple years ago. We drank ice cold beers when we reached the summit. That's pretty cool. Whose votes are you looking to win out here, Tom? The bears? Nah, definitely the deers. The artist really nailed this one. Dorian Key. Kind of rings a bell. That's nice. Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been. So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? She had someone who wanted to see the house, but he could only come by day after tomorrow. And you told her no? Yeah. We need more time than that yeah. to get things cleaned up and, you know. Thanks. But what if it's the only call we get? And I guess we just grow old and lose our minds in that fucking house. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <sighs> so, before Tina called, we were talking? Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh, yeah? Because you sure sounded he like it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in. I get it. You're always gonna side with him over me. Come on, that's not fair. Then why do you keep doing it? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. I didn't come here to ruin your life, Allison. I just want some answers. I know. That's why we're doing all this, right? Yeah, because we definitely need them answers. Hmm. So you're going to sulk all day then? Are you planning to sulk all day? I don't know. We'll find out. Jesus. I feel like we're eight again. So, you really want to live somewhere super secluded like this? Alone in a cave, speaking for the trees? I do. Is it really that hard to imagine? <laughs> Didn't know you were a loner. I just don't think of you as a loner. You and I always did everything together. <laughs> well, you're way less terrible than other people. Yeah. A memory. Found you! North Star! Okay, now you're the star and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. <laughs> Yeah. 
You were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. <laughs> no one else could play with us. No one else could play it with us. That was the beauty of it. For real? You never wanted any other friends? No, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. So, not too disappointed I turned down our chance to be billionaires? Nah, all that money would have made me soft. And I've spent way too many years polishing my edgy side. <laughs> edgy you side, right huh? You to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come. But maybe not at the expense of my father figure. I'll try my best. All right. But maybe now we can go talk to him. I found. Oh, where are you going? Aha! I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. What are you doing? I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. There, looking better already. You're right. Way better. Hmm. That is pretty sweet. So, what's the plan? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. Alright. Well, as calm as we can be. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. Morning, Missy. How do you get mm. stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler. Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Yo, what's up? Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be- Oh, good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm gonna take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Hmm. Great. I don't know why that is. He has an excuse to brush us off. I'm sure he'll- Hey. He speaks. How's Delos treating you so far? It's been good to see Allison. She's been talking nonstop about you lately. I know she's happy to have you here. I imagine. I've been meaning to say, Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. Oh, yeah, sure. Thanks. I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor activities. Made some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts, man, they were so proud. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I, um, 
volunteer sometimes with the JCE. You know, give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. That's awesome. Wait, really? That's awesome. Yeah, and I don't mean to preach, but the kids in those groups, be it Fireweed or the JCE, they need people who really understand them. People who know where they're coming from and will fight for what they need. Anyways, sorry for the rant. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything all right? Your uncle said you two were going to be knee-deep in trash for a few days. A few days? That's optimistic. It feels like every time we clear out a drawer, two more just appear out of thin air. Huh. Yes, we got my sympathies. When we emptied Linda's parents' house, oof. I thought we'd have to rent a backhoe. How is Linda? I feel like I haven't seen her in months. Good. Yeah, she started working over at the high school as the librarian. Pay's not great, but she gets to see the kids every day, so... I bet Brendan's thrilled. Oh, yeah. Happy as any teenager who's got to spend extra time with his mom. Well, he's I'll not. You work. Eh, no worries. You're not a bother. Dr. Torres, you said your daughter was with you during the incident? Yes, she was. I'll need her information too, though. Can you give me her name? Tyler and Ronan. Okay. Good to see you again. Hi. Uh, you've gotten tall. That usually happens between ages 11 and 21. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, well, uh, welcome home. Ex-husband. Does she live with you most of the time? Thanks. It's been a while. So, what brings you two around? Because of my hours. She stays mm. with me on the weekends. Neon lights and smelly food. Uh, we just can't get enough of the fluorescent <laughs> lights and smell of old takeout. <laughs> oh, come on. It's not that bad. So, is there anything I can help you with? Uh, yeah, sure. Busy day around here? No. The fire alarm went off three times in the span of an hour this morning. That's not good. <laughs> I thought the you chief was going to rip uh, that alarm right off the wall. So All right. I'm Incident sorry, report states were called day. yesterday at 6. Hmm. So it's probably why he's upset because of that fire alarm. Officer Vincenzi was dispatched to your home at 6.29 a.m., but you couldn't... Morning, Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about her mother. Look, now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? Excuse me. Come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. Hmm. Oh, I hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? <laughs> of course, Miss Torres. Where were we? What else? He's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know. The archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go big or go home. All right. Incident report states on call yesterday at 6.13 a.m. It was someone... Let's see. Who designed this building? M.C. Escher? Layout is totally bizarre. Hmm. I was already running behind. Of course. It says here you work at Cottonwood Hospital? That's right. That sure is a commute. It certainly is. What's your usual place? I'm a surgical resident at one of the only hospitals Let's in see. Southeast Alaska. I'm basically always on call. Ah, yeah, of course. But listen, we really appreciate you coming in after a 24 hour shift. Well, what happens if I did this? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency. Lake water. You know, Mother Nature's juice cleanse. And there's a bathroom just past the break room. Behind you. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. Obviously. It's suspicious. There must be another way up.
Maybe we can check out that map of the building near reception. Which oh I already God. did, like, Why didn't I think twice. That? Lobby, now. There's no access to the first floor this way. We need to find another way out, of course. I find right. see. Let's see. There. Fire exit. It opens up to a staircase on the side of the building, but it'll definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Oh, Wait. really? All Not a right. Idea? No, I, I really don't. Not really. No. Right, let's go. Hmm. That pile of paperwork? What about it? I could tip it over. Kind of messy, but I mean, sure. Nah. Hmm. There's a light switch here. I guess I probably can't trip the circuit breaker, but I could turn the lights off. Just go. Improvise. Fuck it. Let's do this. Oh, Bubs? Tyler. My bad, officer. All right. I'm in. You head now? Um. I need a smoke. Yeah, I need a smoke. You should think about quitting. Only gets harder the longer you do it. Yeah, I know. While you're at it. Get your sister to stop, too. <sighs> we'll see about that. Winter hair. Okay. I'm by the door. Come on. Hmm. Be safe, not sorry. So Ooh. that mailbox bandit struck again, huh? Apparently so. Those garbage cans are like the opposite of bear proof. You know, it's actually really unhealthy for animals to eat our trash. Simmer down. We Was that red warehouse part of the whole chicken farm business? You know it. <laughs> uh, is that supposed to be? Stay out of trouble. Oh, yeah. Well, no one knows for sure, but the resemblance is uncanny. Who's the artist? Gold case. Damn, all right. Shit. Where are you? Right here. Open the door. Quick, get in. Oh god, what did I just do? You took control of your destiny. Own it. It is inevitable. Okay. How old is Brown? 38. Oh, wow. Hmm. Graduated really young. Youngest officer to ever join the DCPD. Good for him. Catches us in here. There's no turning back now. Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. Hmm. Back in a bit. Personnel files, department budgets, but zero case hmm. files. Ooh, a thingy. Oh. Hey, you. I'll just take that. I'm sure Eddie won't mind. Though we are destined to burn, we emerge as stardust. Is that? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Burn it. Burn it with fire. Hmm. Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. Ba -ba -ba. Why is Brown on a first name basis with the director of Fireweed? Oh. What'd you find? It's an invoice. invoice. Eddie Brown, you'll find enclosed the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. 
The Fireweed Administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. I knew Eddie pulled some strings to send you there, but... <laughs> mm. That's a lot of money. More backdoors and secret moves. Maybe he didn't want to make you uncomfortable. Well, now I feel like I'm in his debt. Looks like he's working with the Office of Child Services on a case. None of our business. Hmm. You applied to a summer drama program back in 2009? I did, but they rejected me. Michael and I were supposed to go together. He went, but I was stuck here for the summer with no one but Justin Bieber for company. Not Justin Why? Bieber. Well, uh, this letter says you got in. What the hell? So he just turned it down? I'm sorry, yeah. Allison. Shouldn't be surprised he's lied to me in the past. That's weird. You finding anything? No. Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is. Yeah, a real Doesn't standout it. guy. The police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events? Huh? Oh, yeah. The community social. He volunteered to help. Invitation, huh? Since he pretty much knows everyone, and more importantly, who's called the cops on who, he's in charge of the seating chart. All elders. Let's put the Vecchies next to... Can you not? Oh. Little chart. All right, let's investigate his huh. computer. Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. Finally. This guy has a record, and not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think mm. he has a choice. There's always a choice. Yeah, just choose a better cop. Easy. <laughs> hmm. He might work. Wait. Oh, is that said C-mail? I thought that said Gmail. For a second. Hmm. I mean, general discharge. Seriously, you're gonna try? Whoa! Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? What does that mean? I don't. I don't know. In the but there's archives. There's a reference number. R six eight six five three. Find the digitized calls to the appendix. Huh. Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does he? I could see that. Tom? He preferred staying neutral. Well, that makes sense. Implicit bias. Nothing to do with the missile of Randy Spears. Hmm. Council meeting. Nacho Mama. One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where our file is. Yeah, the archives. Let's see if that's the armory. Hmm. This door wasn't open yesterday. Private room. Please tell me you know what the code is. Oh. Did the highly confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the door? I spent hours playing next to this room. I'd see people go inside all the time. The keypad does this little tune. Dum da de do. <laughs> Seriously? Go on, try. Hmm. Well, let's see what they all sound like. Let's do. De. Deep. How did that tune go again? Dum da de do. Doop. Doop. Dum. How did that tune go again? Dum da de do. Hmm. 
just to be safe. Down, dab, dab. How did that tune go again? Dum da di do. Hmm. Well, this is dumb. This is da di de. The first two seem to be right. That's not it. The first two seem to be right. Hmm. How did that tune Dum. go again? Dum da di do. How How did that tune go again? Dum da di do. Oh, there we go. Do. Yes. Excellent. Ooh, the police uh, archives. Looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Great. Yeah, They've all this paper. Closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half done sorting system. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? Because if oh. anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. R68653. Look it up. Look it up, she says. Okay. Let's see. R6568 something. one here we go looks like a step-by-step -step record of the investigation hmm. quite a bit of stuff minus name redacted Unlicensed Rustle 3121 shotgun. Well, so far I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings, though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. this one open 
There might be other references on the computer. All right, I'm in. You can search by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan, March 1st, 2005. I want Tatsu Accord. References zero five R sixty one eight eighty nine. There. Hmm. Let's see. Again. Forty one. Do do do. No full length. Just unemployed. Child stabbed her with a pair of scissors. Find evidence support. Shotgun. Brush the Sam. I found a summary of everything. Wow. This is a real detective novel. Brown's wow. quite the wordsman. He's not a writer, Tyler. Hmm. Okay. Consciousness. Hold notified partner officer Brown by telephone. Holton Brown arrived at the scene at 22.58 hours. Uh, stem. Okay. There might be other references on the computer. What order? Okay, I need to check out 05 R63 325. 63. Okay, here it is. That's a picture I definitely don't want to keep. References 0501COMEBR. 0501. Maybe this. Here we go. Jesus. Unbelievable. Brown reported Mary Ann to child services. What? Where oh. are you? What's going on? Okay. She drowned? Oh. What? The stab wound wasn't fatal. On the side. Eddie Brown. Hello, Officer Brown. This is Simone Prue from the Office of Child Services. Hello, Mrs. Prue. I'm calling about the Ronan family. 
Uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case. Ah, uh, I see. Is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the area? Yeah, um, Samuel Kansky is a close friend of the family. Uh-huh. K-A-N-S... K-Y. Great. Your caseworker, Sandy Black, will be arriving on March 5th. She'll drop by the station first thing in the morning. Mrs. Prue, how worried should we be? Mm, I mm. really can't say until I have a full picture of the situation. Of course. I'm sure he'll find well, out. Have a good afternoon, Mrs. Prue. You too, sir. I just listened to Brown chatting with OCS. He really did it. He reported her. What if he was just a go-between? He might not have had a choice. We need to keep digging. Yellow's Crossing Police Department. <sighs> Hello? Hello? Uh, Hello. I can hear you. It, it's my mom. She, she fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. Where? Home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? 12 Cannery Road. Please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up. Misc, huh? There. Huh. Why is that here? Just him. Tessa's name came up. Search for her. References 2014 201496. Say 2014. This one. Okay, here it is. Not helpful at all. Damn. Something about complaints, right? Look for that. Here. Bingo. Okay. I need to check out two thousand five two zero one five four six. I think it's this one. Here we go. Wait, what the hell? Tessa accused her of child neglect. Mm. Shoplifting. I need to get moving. Shit. I'm sorry, Tyler. I couldn't stop him. He's coming your way. Get out. Uncle, I... We didn't mean I'm to... I'm not going to repeat myself. You're a goddamn hypocrite. I said move it. Hey, get off me. You'd rather spend the night here? Come on. I said don't fucking touch me. Go on. 
And consider yourselves lucky your family. You're right. Family. And for Allison's sake, we should talk. About what? We saw our file. We know about social services. Why? Why did you turn your back on her? Why did Tessa? Okay. Yeah, you're right. We need to talk. The winter before your mother's death was hard. How hard, though? Devil's Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and plane supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. So Tessa came to you. You're saying Tessa reported our mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa came to me because she was honestly concerned. Right. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint, even if I didn't agree. So you called Child Services. So you took her word for it and called Child Services. Failure to provide adequate food, lack of appropriate supervision, inattention to a child's psychological care, like it or not, she had a case. What? It's bullshit. Just following the law then. Right. Is that why you came over that day before she died? You felt shitty, didn't you? That's why you broke procedure? I had to warn her that it was happening and that it wasn't looking good. An assessment worker had been assigned and started doing background checks. What else was I supposed to do? Always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm, I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. Hmm. That's sweet. Just like that, huh? Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but you have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best. That's an understatement. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. I'm open to getting there. But it's gonna take some time before we're a big, happy family. I respect that. It's hard work rebuilding trust. Yeah, it is. But you've got a place here whenever you need it. No, oh, that's nice. <laughs> See, Eddie's happy about Group that. Hug? Uh, no. Eh, 
Absolutely not. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we learned something. Allison. What? You feel like shit. How can you tell? Because it's kind I of obvious. Like What are we going to do about Tessa? Nothing. Look, we're not going to do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa? Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she? Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Ch children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be all right, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Where is everybody? Tessa's got to be around somewhere. I think I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. That's promising. But given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. I'm going to do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On it. All right. I stopped to take a leak. Just as I was finishing up, what do I see? A big old bull moose staring me down. Hey, guys. Moose? I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Oh, hey. Tyler from the boat, oh. right? Huh. We keep bumping into each other, don't we? What were you guys talking about? I don't think you'd be interested. You two just can't stay away, huh? Unfortunately. We're looking for Tessa again. Well, she took off about half an hour ago. Sorry. Is Tom busy? He's been in the office all morning, so who knows? But mm, Probably Tom, doing campaign so stuff. It's probably safe to interrupt him. Hmm. Do you know if Tessa's going to be back soon? I don't know if she's even coming back. No one tells me anything. All right. Yep, he's in there, all right. Come in. Oh, okay. What do you mean? We've got enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation? Try to get their support. Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I should be on my way over soon. Oh, okay. Yeah, just push me out of the way a bit. Hello, Tyler. Uh, can I help you? Yeah, actually. Hey, I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This uh. wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah. Maybe, actually. Uh, we were over at the police station and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. 
Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two. To make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but you know how it is. No was news it Sam? travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew. I, I don't know if he actually has a Brown phone. Was on his way out. Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely, but I didn't get involved. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I yeah, those kind of things just kind of come things. up now. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. All right, well, thanks, Tom. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt... resistance from people around here. To put it mildly... Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. Well, if we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened, which means being completely honest about it. We all want to find peace, kids. It's just harder for some people to talk about the past. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Hey. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so... Don't, don't be, be late. late. Uh, yep, yep. I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, so, kids, was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who her father might have been? Mm, I'm not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. But look, I... Yeah, you better head to the meeting now. Oh, gosh. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I really have to go. Uh, Michael, uh, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Hey, sure thing, boss man. See you later. You two want to help a brother out, spend the afternoon here working for free? Why not? I came here to talk to Tessa. <laughs> sure. And she's not here. Uh, she she's at the cemetery, uh, visiting her parents. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store, and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can't we just wait for her to come back here? I, I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm going to start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. Just give me a sec. Right, let's see. Are you right? Where'd that question about our father come from? I'm curious. I've just been thinking about who he might be. And if he knows anything that could help us figure this shit out. Why? He wasn't a part of our lives. Besides, Marianne always said we never had a father. Well, her name might have been Mary, but I don't think she was a likely candidate for Immaculate Conception. Alright. Alright, let's see. Storage right. room. I already counted there, but I just need you to double check a few things. It's not complicated. I've got this in the bag. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You're just that good, huh? <laughs> yeah, your job's not that hard. You know, yeah, I'm gonna answer that. I mean, it's just counting stuff on a shelf, right? Yeah, let's start with an easy one, alright? Go to the back of the room and, uh, 
Tell me how many cans of Moto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye, aye. Hmm. Ooh. Is that the Meiji muskrat? Yikes, that's unsettling. Why didn't he try to make himself look a little more mayor-like? He looks like a cartoon college professor. Is that a picture of a priest with little hearts? Yeah, that's the hot priest who hosts Bible study with Tessa. <laughs> for the record, that was Allison's doing. She had a crush on him for ages, but he is very, very hot. Shit, yeah. I remember him from when we were kids. That's Father Batista. Yeah, he's got that silver fox thing going on now, see? Yeah, yep, I see it. Uh, no, that's not it. I wonder what's in that box. Why am I standing here looking at this? <laughs> yeah, why are you? Anyway, uh... Uh, no, that's not it. I wonder what's in that box. Uh, no, that's not what Michael wanted. Still there. <sighs> the only processed food Marianne ever let us eat. She said they were her guilty pleasure. Hmm. Uh, no, that's not it. Uh, no, that's not what Michael wanted. Uh, <laughs> Why are you laughing? I I was just remembering the time Allison and I opened up a bag of flour and threw it at each other's faces. We called it a, a summer snow fight. We made a gigantic mess. Marianne was pissed. I wonder what's in that box. It's not here. I mean, yeah, I'm looking for tomato sauce. Hmm. You know. When you think about it, glass is really just tortured sand. Huh. Have you been sniffing the spray paint, Tyler? Aha. Uh -huh. Molto bene. Hold on. Let me count this. Uh, let me see. Blah, blah, blah. One, two, six. That one. There's 14 cans of Molto bene tomato sauce. Okay. Sounds about right. Man, I'm so good at this. That was easy. I need you to count the bottles of bleach for me. On it. On it. Okay, bleach. I think I saw bleach already. Here we go. That's it. S yeah, that was six. That's six? something else. All right. Not bad, Tyler. Not bad. Careful. They might give me your job. Oh, you can have it. Uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. What's up? I need your opinion on this masterpiece. Okay. <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, come on. Look at the hair. Nailed it, right? Yeah, it's beautiful. Honestly, it's beautiful. Hey, don't make fun of me. I'm not. Oh, maybe a little bit, but I like it. For real. Well, it helps to have a good model. So this is what you're up to while I was out there doing your work? What can I say? I'm a multitasker. Hey, multitasker. I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be 36. Oh, how dare you, sir? What? I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. All right, anything else you wanted me to check? Yep, one last thing, and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. Okay. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? Oh, ah, this box. Okay. So... One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Uh, you've got about 11 left in that box. 
Did I get it wrong? Michael? Ouch, what the fuck? Hey, sorry. It was just too tempting. Oh, <laughs> uh, I see. Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. <laughs> you have no idea what you just started. First uh, one with three this confirmed means hits war. wins. Cool. <laughs> gotcha. Idiot. Damn, overshot it. Oh, come on. Is that all you got, Ronan? Just you wait. I've got a strategy. Oh, yeah? We'll see. Boom. Idiot. <laughs> One more hit and you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. <laughs> God, you're corny. Come on. So, is this a typical work day for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. I'm gonna tell Allison you said that. Uh, she's usually stuck in the office. Besides, your sister, while a hottie, isn't my type. Ouch. See. Ooh. Boom. Gotcha. Oh. <laughs> Man, you're good. <laughs> I told you not to doubt the golden arm. <laughs> well, I'll never make that mistake again. Okay. I, I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here. Let's hit the bitch's grotto. The what? Fancy name for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah, all right, cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. Mm, let's see. Oh, hey, see that container? That's for you. Huh? It's the trout I caught yesterday at the buzzard hole. Grilled Ooh. it up with my world-renowned marinade. World renowned. Oh, wow. Uh, thank you. World renowned marinade, huh? What's in it? A magician never reveals his secrets. Yeah, just like a good thief. Uh, let me sit down. There we go. So, you think Tom's got the chops to be the mayor of Delos Crossing? I don't know. The guy's sweet and not entirely incompetent, but it doesn't really matter. Vote for him to vote for Tessa. She'd be the one running the show. Hmm. Well, what about his politics? What do you think about Tom's policy ideas? He's got a few surprisingly bold stances. Bold. Yeah, like his gun regulations. I gotta admit, I'm pretty impressed he's pushing for that out here. Exactly, but I'm not totally sure how I feel about that, though, to be honest. Really? Really. Historically speaking, the government taking weapons away from my people has not gone well for us. Oh, yeah. I never thought about it that way. So is he a cool boss? Uh, cool? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not a word anyone has ever used to describe Milk Toast Tom. Definitely he's all right. not. I mean, not the worst boss I've ever had. So I take it you're not Tessa's biggest fan? Yeah, you know, every time I put up flyers for queer events, she accidentally covers them. Ever confronted her? No way. Have you ever confronted her about it? Nah. I just keep my head down and count the days until Juno. Man, that has to be rough. It is. But out here, just surviving is a form of protest. All right. And I'm done. Is this Chief Brown? Yeah. Are you guys related or? Nah, but same clan. Who 
Ooh. What's your clan? Which clan? Octopus clan. Raven Moity. Huh. Badass. So, you close with everybody in the clan? Yeah, we're pretty tight-knit. I mean, we're all kind of spread out, so I don't know everyone that well, but they're still family. I was really close to my Uncle William until he passed. He's the one whose grave I want to visit. Oh, yeah. No way! You like Duplex Duo, too? Yeah, <laughs> Allison got me into him. We were supposed to go to his show in Juno a few months ago. Oh, yeah, you know what's up. All right, you know what's up. You <laughs> listen to his earlier stuff? The Dark Arc of Destiny? <laughs> Not yet. It might be a bit experimental for me, though. Ah, uh, yeah, definitely. One of the songs is like nine minutes of the same MJG drum machine sample. Fucking brilliant. But not for everyone. I'm surprised Tessa let you hang this up. Yeah, she hates it. But as long as I don't promote my lifestyle in front of the customers, she doesn't say anything. Man, Damn. it must be exhausting to spend your days educating these people. <laughs> Here's the thing, I don't. Opening the minds of this town would be a full-time fucking job. And emotional labor pays shit. Have you ever been with anyone? Hey, I hope this isn't too personal, but you ever been with anyone in Delos Crossing? I dated a guy in high school for a minute, but we had to keep it quiet. I've been with a few other people, but that shit's tricky out here. And what about you? You ever been with a guy? I mean, assuming you're into guys, which <laughs> I guess I kind of did. Hmm. Never met the right person. I've never really been with anybody. Guess I was too busy processing trauma or whatever. But if I met a guy I was into, who knows? You get lonely? Do you ever get lonely in Delos Crossing? Yeah, sometimes. So I'm always in Juno working with the JCE, meeting new people. I gotta make my shit happen for me because no one else will. Right. I feel you. Anywho? Anyway... Yeah, I guess I'll just talk to him. I gotta tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronin. You mean the OG Ronin? I was born first, you know? Is that so? I thought Allison said she was. Well, our mother never actually told us, but it was me. So, why is it so weird to meet me? Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. The fireweed, your transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. <laughs> yeah, figures. That lady is thorough and she loves you like crazy. I know. So, yeah, uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad he trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. You're pretty all right. <laughs> you're not too bad yourself. <laughs> but you're not too bad yourself. I try not to be, especially around guys I'm trying to impress. Ooh, you're so trying I to impress me. Smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours too. Hmm. Fitting in. There's a concept. You have no idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. They pull me out of the dark more times than I can count. I hear you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I, I want to get to know you. Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? Honestly, yeah. I think you might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. Oh, you're swell too. Oh, golly gee, Michael. I think you're swell too. You're the cat's pajamas. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. I've got way better compliments than that. But I can't open with my best, right? It's cool. So, I'll get more of those if I get to know you better? For sure. If that's something you'd be interested in. I might be. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, hey. I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum-dums to come back. 
Are you guys ready to go? Mm-hmm. I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Let's go. All right. The cemetery, huh? Here we are. Yep, that, that is a cemetery, all right. Thanks for letting me hitch a ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah, you're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> all right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big, crooked tree. You can't miss it. Okay. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries, especially after, you know. I promise after this we can chill at the house, cool? I never wanted to come back here. Yeah, that makes two of us. Hmm. So, did you ever come back? Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. Probably just a mirror neuron thing. Oh what? Monkey see, monkey do. <sighs> yeah. Oh. Huh? Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all since the funeral? No. Never had a reason. Mom, why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No. It's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. Always here. Mom? <laughs> Always. Mm. She loved us. A lot. Sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids. Hmm. So ancestors. Hmm. After the service, it is customary for members of the opposite moiety to comfort. The grieving family by bringing out the Abtul clan on Regalia to symbolically catch tears before they hit the ground and comfort grieving clan members with support. Body party day. Hmm. Okay. Here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave. Just to make sure this is the right spot. You think I'm it's gonna possible assume Michael remembered it wrong? Well, I've it's done this inventory one. with De Leon. That's the one. <sighs> Don't tell me we missed her. Eagle. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Kids. It's time. something to eat. The day of the funeral, I 
barely remember it. That's probably for the best. Wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't hmm. we call it Gnarl's Branching? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Damn. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. Yep, certainly does. Oh, it's Michael. When did Michael's uncle die? Last year. It was really hard on him. He's still feeling it. Long time no see. Do you want some company? Come on over. Make yourselves comfortable. Hmm. Stump. The cool kind of nature seat. So, how are you? Is this a bad time? With you? Never. Don't mind me. I'm not really here. Hey, I get to see your ugly mug almost every day. You're old news, lady. You wound me. <laughs> Deeply. <laughs> so, can I help you guys out somehow? That one. So, what was your uncle like? Oh, boy. Where do I start? Y you know that one grumpy grandpa in all the sitcoms? The one that types like a T-Rex and never leaves his recliner? I think I get it. <laughs> I think I'm getting the picture. <laughs> Not yet you aren't. As grumpy as he was, they didn't make him any sweeter than him. He's the kind of guy who accepted you for where you were at, even when he didn't approve. Not many of those out there. So you were close to your uncle. You and your uncle were really close, huh? Definitely. I could push his buttons without even trying. My family's old school clink it. Spent more time with my uncle than my dad. He was the first person to test out all my new recipes. Even before Allison. Guess I should thank Uncle William for saving me from a muffin top. Can't wait to try that marinade. <sighs> Can't wait to get home and try that famous marinade. So, what's the secret ingredient? Wouldn't you like to know, huh? Bird syrup. Oh. Uh, how could you? Huh? Twins before hoes, Michael. <laughs> anyway, uh, talk to you later. Talk to you later. You bet. So, how are you, um, holding up? <sighs> Everything's such a mess. I thought we'd almost be done packing by now. I'm so ready to put this place behind us. At least Mr. Hollywood Handsome over there is good company. Funny how you never mentioned what your brother looked like before he got into town. Oh, I just thought I'd surprise you. <laughs> Do you remember where she is? No. For what it's worth, I remember staring at the Allison, please. I'm, I'm not going. Allison, come back. <sighs> yeah. And he hoped that this would be easier than last time. Totally gone. At least this time, no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, you and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. Uh, I think we can. I won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please, don't worry about me. I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too, but look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. You think Snowball still lives in there? Snowy owls only tend to live about ten years. Oh, rest in peace, Snowball. Hmm. No way. Our box is still here? Box? We did cover it in like a hundred layers of blue. Sweet. Yeah, can I feel what collectibles I got? 
Hmm, I missed one in chapter two. I mean chapter one. That's all right. Let's see. This spot's familiar. I wonder why that is. She never would have found a place in Delos Crossing without Carol. You think? Ty. This, this is it. Right. Yeah. 2001. God, I, I think I need a second. I'm gonna this has to be it. Yep. 2005. Mary Ann wrote in. Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What? Broke? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. <laughs> you didn't have to do it all alone. Oh shit, where'd you come from? Kids, I, uh, I, I wasn't expecting to see. What are you, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty maybe? on our graves are all anyone has to remember us by letting hers just fall apart would be cruel I'm not a cruel person cruel enough to call social services on our mother I I, I wanted to protect you Marianne was getting worse all the time I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were then one day we were going to end up dead Look, I'm sorry I didn't tell you the whole story back in the store, but I didn't want you to, to- Enough with the excuses. What the hell happened to her? Why'd you turn your back on us? Your mom was always just barely getting by, and over the years she burned a lot of goodwill. It got so bad, no one was willing to hire her, and the stress of that, well, it, it took its toll. I tried to help, but she pushed me away. She pushed us all away. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us, until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well, just ask Sam mm. Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh, God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa. All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. You could have done better. 
I get that Marianne wouldn't let you help her. But there had to be a better way to deal with it. Especially if she was having some kind of crisis. Yes, you're right. There were other things I could have done. Better things. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I prayed for guidance, and seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man, I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Tessa, I know the last couple of days have been... hated. I'm up for a fresh start if you are, but it's not really up to me. Tyler? You know what? Yeah, why not? I'm done losing people. And if we can't let people grow, then what the hell kind of chance do we have? That's a good Thank point. Thank you. Both of you. Kids, I never knew your mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. They're gonna be coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. Come on. That was something, huh? Yeah, it was. I had pretty much given up on her, but I guess sometimes people change. I know. I feel like a total ass right now. Yeah, I think she needed to hear that. You shouldn't. She needed to hear all of that. Yeah, you're probably right. Still, I might bring in a peace offering my first day back. Any ideas? Uh, Jesus stuff? Hmm. Maybe I'll just finally bring back that book I borrowed six months ago. What? Where are you going? Oh, why are you sitting down here? Not a bad view, right? Yeah. I get now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Listen. I know this has been hard. I'm really grateful you saw it through with me. Fireweed was great, but there was no one really there for me like that. You know? You're the only one. Hey. Brothers and sisters. Right. But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately. Which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait. Are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... I stole your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. You know, you really need to stop putting yourself down. Nothing. You've been working on that accounting degree. And your art's good. Really good. Stop putting yourself down. As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house, and you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy. But we yeah, always not everything in life's through, easy. Right? Yeah. You're right. Hey. Wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, it's not gonna be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do.
So I guess we know the story now, huh? Marianne was done with Delos. Delos was done with her. Maybe she was too proud, but she worked so hard for so long. And when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. Not even Tessa or Eddie. And when she heard social services was coming, she... She... Gave up. But killed her kids? Really? I don't know. It still feels like there's something missing. Right? Well, there's still a key piece of the puzzle we need to find. I'm sure You're we'll find it in episode understand three. understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. It's probably always going to feel that way. I'm gonna fall asleep the second I hit the couch. You better rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Uh, do we have to? Hey, whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. Oh, you are on. Oh, shit. shit. Allison. I'll get the fire extinguisher. Mystery figure. Tyler. Tyler, are you all right? Uh, Allison, barn. Stay there. I got it. That wasn't so bad. There, there was a, a guy. He smashed me in the face with the door. What guy? What did he look like? I'm not sure. I couldn't see straight, and, and he was all in black. Why would someone try to burn down our barn? Hmm. I don't know. But I'm going to find out. Well, let me get it. At least you were spared. Cool. Asshole even dumped the drawers. Oh yeah, he made such a mess of the place. I might have found something. Uh. Is that hmm. a box under the barn? Yeah. What the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. I'm gonna need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Hmm. This gas can was already here this morning. He went looking under the rug. Did he really have to smash everything? So, did Eddie teach you how to put out a fire? Nope. I taught myself. Wow. None of the valuable stuff's missing. Yeah, probably this. Guess we know how he made the hole. Pro oh boy. All right. Let's step back. I'll be fine. Oh. Interesting little box. Well, I only know one person who'd bother to decorate a storage box like this. Marianne. Let's open it. Okay. What's that there? Some kind of carving. Not sure what it is, though. It's all ice Three symbol. digits. Any ideas? Mm. 
Marianne was never really a numbers kind of person. Let's see. Oh. Well, I think. Wait. Look. It's the same symbol. The secret keeper. Well, let's see if we okay, can find any see. numbers. Change and spite on the secret keeper she made rounds. How is it the first goblin that she get people's secrets? Do you suppose she peels open their heads? Let's find out, said the second. And so the goblins watched the secret keeper. Uh, Stalwart Moose. Chose the uneven chair I can't bear to remember. Not even gazed into Stalwart Moose's eyes. Though the goblins couldn't hear anything, they knew she was speaking to the moose, for the secret keeper spoke in people's minds with the gift of the voice. After a few minutes, the stalwart moose blinked. I feel lighter, said Moose. Did I just give you something? The secret keeper nodded, handing him a coin. The stalwart moose nodded and plodded down, along down the trail. He spied the goblins lurking in the woods and narrowed his eyes, for he knew the goblins were often up to mischief, as goblins are. The two goblins whistled innocently, and the moose was forced to carry on, because they were not doing anything obviously bad. Hmm. I need to know what the secret was, said one of the goblins. Let's go buy it. Um, the moose's secret. A silver hand produce a silver handled hairbrush they had stolen from the princess. Not it. The side of goblins came to know that Moose's maid had tumbled down a cliffside to her death. Ow. Uh, I want to know more. Do, 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 Heads filled with memories. Snatched their hands back out as if they were thrust in boiling water. Tears poured down the cheeks. That was how the secret keeper found them, crying in the, tr in the tree. You stole my secrets. Give them back. Seethe, the secret keeper. Seethe, that's a good word. Uh, I will give you back the silver handled hair brush. So many secrets. Pshaw, you have to offer more than that. I shared the gift of voice. The gift of voice. They can heal one another's thoughts and feel each other's feelings. Going food. It seemed that the secret keeper was craftier than the crafty goblins, for she had only shared enough of her power to let the goblins use the gift of voice with each other and not with the whole forest. This is how the goblins stole the gift of voice from the secret keeper, but why they can only use it with each other. Oh, yeah, kind of like the little twin voice thing that you have. Oh wait, I see a three and a zero. That's probably part of the code. It's three digits. Ah. Oh. oh, that looks like a part of a one. Okay. One three zero. That did it. There we go. Easy. So what's this? I think she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. Hmm. I need to see you again. I know how that sounds, and I don't want you to think I chase after all the new girls in Dalos Crossing. Always taking my vow seriously, but something changed when I met you. When we were together, I felt like I'm doing 80 down the highway with my lights off, and I never want to stop. I know it isn't right, and we both have a lot to lose, but I need to be with you again. I hope you feel the same. Heart symbol. <laughs> P.S. I bought you a little something for next time. I can't wait to see how it looks on you. Ooh. Fuck. That's rough. Yeah. I'm sorry you're in this situation, Marianne. This, I know you'd feel you'd make a great mother, and I Marianne don't doubt you... Abortion. ...doubt you will someday. Right now, we have to be sure we don't ruin three lives. My marriage has been happy for some time, but she doesn't deserve this. But mostly I'm worried about you. People here talk, and I don't want you to have to go through that. I know money has been tight, but I'll do what I can to help you do the right thing. Just let me know how much you need. Hmm. Yeah. Some guys seem to have an affair with Marianne. It's probably how... 
humans came to be, but that's everything. What the hell? So Marianne hid a box under the barn. Box full of letters from our deadbeat dad. He came for these letters. He turned the whole place upside down and didn't take anything. All he wanted was that box. And he was willing to burn down the barn to get rid of what was inside. You know what it all means, right? Yep. That guy had an affair with Mary Ann, and he just tried to torch the evidence. He must have heard we were clearing out the house. He was worried we'd find it. You know, I... I can't shake the feeling I've seen him here before. Hmm. Like here. forgotten anything about that night i would have said the same thing but something felt there's a clue different. i need to see the rest but you know what happens down there that's the thing i'm not sure i do <sighs> all right let's go some kind of work booth correct Any fishing booth this is where i trade Towards the docks. Hey, what are you doing? Straight for it. No stops, no turns. He was on a mission. Wait a minute. Trail ends here. It looks like he jumped into the gully. He really didn't want us to figure out who he was. Well, he's been avoiding us for 20 years. Any reason to go out there? Yeah, that's that again. Check over here. Do you remember anything about his face? I couldn't see it. He had a hood on. It's probably not a good idea to walk on ice. Still no sign of him. that night in the woods no it was just 
I, I saw it. Oh, I guess I had to look at look this way first. the mad hunter what what are you talking about at night i thought i saw the mad hunter in the woods but i guess it was just some asshole some asshole who just fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun do you think it was the same guy maybe i mean it had to be him right they were wearing the same fishing gear yeah unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits and wait he was here once before, wasn't he? A few days before Marianne died? Maybe? Hold on, do you feel that? Yeah, I see that. Tyler, not there. Our mother fought with someone on the dock, about us. We need to know if it was the same guy. But what if it's not that memory? What if it's... I can't go through that again. We have to take that chance. But yeah, we, we really? need to know the I truth. Mean, someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, and that means we've got to be close to something. I'm not going on that dock. Just one more time. Just one more time, please. There's always just one more. Every time it seems like we're done with this, something new pops up. What if this is the only chance to figure out who our father is? Then we go on living our lives without him, just like we always have. Come on, we need to know the truth. For her. What if I don't want to know the truth, huh? Did you ever consider that? No. You just push and push and- You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. <laughs> How can you say that to me? I didn't. But I, I did, right? Earlier, to Eddie. But I, I swear I didn't just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own voices now? God, I, I don't know. Allison. I'll do it. Let's go. Right. Let's do it together. We can do it. There we go. Ouch! Watch it! You're stepping on my foot. Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet. We don't want mom to catch us out of bed. We almost had it though. That was us watching Marianne fight with that guy. Try to focus on him, right? Don't think about anything else. Come on, come on. So you're here to make sure I've been keeping my mouth shut? I don't owe you anything. You've been a little all over the place lately all over the place i've just been trying to survive if you want to make sure i don't get desperate you could help us out lend me some money what happened why did it stop i can't tyler but we were so damn close Sorry, but I'm done. That's it? You're just giving up, just like that? You can't do this. We owe her. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is gonna change that. 
No, we were so close though. Don't go, please. You can't keep running from this alley, or it's only gonna get worse. Damn. Ouch! Watch it! You're stepping on my foot! Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet! We don't want Mom to catch us out of bed. There's no money. I've never asked you for anything, but right now they need you. It's not gonna happen. I've got everything I need to nail your ass in that barn. And just what do you think happens after that? What do you mean? Well, if those kids have a father, do you really think there's a court out there that'll let you keep them? No! You have no claim to my children! Get the hell off my property, now! If you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! Allison? Hmm. Voice sounded kind of familiar. Oh yeah, let's check out my choices. Yeah, choices memory. Used, okay. Forgave Eddie. It's nice. Oh, that's good. There's something else. Look at this. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? I think the crafty goblins have one more hatch to sneak through. Yeah, there's one more puzzle. Let's go. So I guess the mystery now is who the hell are these kids' fathers? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure we'll find that out next time because well there's only well, I'll be starting the last episode of this game next time. So the next time I get to this game, I will I'm gonna finish this game. Yeah. But alright then. So if you enjoyed the stream, make sure to follow me on Twitch and follow me on Twitter. This VOD will be uploaded to my posted YouTube channel where you can check out all my other VODs. Oh, and you should subscribe to my main channel, The Funny Poo. I've got a couple more things though, mean some buddies of mine. Oh, and I joined my Discord. It's pretty epic. But yeah, in any case though, thank you all for watching and hopefully I'll see you again next time.